Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing the third version of my, my experience working at X. So in today's video, we are doing Burberry. I worked at Burberry from November 2019 until February 2020. So fairly recent, fairly short. I don't even think I made it through my probation. I basically started at Burberry because I just didn't want to work in sales anymore at Nordstrom. I was over it. I was done. I had applied to work there in um, August of 2019, but didn't work out. I sort of got a phone interview. Nothing happened. They ghosted me. And then I was like, all right, whatever. And then in November, I remember I was sitting in class. It was the childhood of anthropology. No, the anthropology of childhood. And I was like looking through my emails and this email came up from the operations manager at Burberry. He was like, hey, are you still interested in like positions? And I was like, yeah, but I can only work part time. And he was like, okay, that's like fine. And like at this time, I had only two weeks left of my degree. So basically I only would need to work part time for two weeks anyways. So then I go meet him in person. We go to like this coffee shop and we just start talking. And it's like a very natural conversation. It's very easy. And that was sort of my interview process at Burberry. Like it wasn't long and I don't think it was the standard one. I think basically the standard one is you have a phone interview, you have an in-person interview with um, the manager and then you go from there. But for some reason, I feel like mine was like a little bit different. It was very relaxed and it was very chill and I really enjoyed it. And then um, I remember just sort of waiting, going to work and then noticing in my inbox that I got the job and he, sent me the offer letter and I remember it was super exciting because my boyfriend um, got his job offer on the same day which was kind of funny. Basically this job was a operations associate um, at Burberry. This Burberry was located inside Holt Renfrew which is a department store here in Canada so it was a leased boutique within the department store. Um, what makes this Burberry interesting is that it's split over three levels. So there's a women's on the top level, accessories in the mid level, men's on the bottom. And this is very standard for this particular um, location. There's sort of boutiques here and there everywhere. So I didn't work for Holt Renfrew. I worked as an employee of Burberry and I quite enjoyed it in terms of training. Um, there wasn't like a set formal training. It was just like my manager training me and like learning as I go. So in terms of like what that was like, it was pretty good. Um, I definitely enjoyed my time there and I started around Christmas, but I could definitely see that the job wasn't for me. Like I had all these ideas in my head that I wanted to be in operations and I was like, you know, I like like backstocking things and I like just working with stock and um, like I don't want to work with clients anymore. So then when I got this job, I was like, oh, but it's so boring. Like organizing a stock room all day, like. <sighs> and I could tell that I really missed the human connection. I thought I didn't like it, but it turns out I needed it. So I was like, okay, this is maybe, maybe not the best move for me. And then I was like, well, maybe I can make this work. Maybe I'll go into sales. And then I was like, I'm not Chinese, I'll never make it. I was like, ooh, I don't know. Unfortunately, relatively soon after I started there, I quickly realized that it wasn't for me and I had a recruiter reach out to me, um, she's one of my colleagues now, um, in August of last year, but I was still in school, so I like, I really couldn't commit to a full-time position. And then I like sent her a LinkedIn message and I was like, hey, if you're hiring, like, I'm really open to going through the interview process and hearing more about your opportunities. And then I also started applying to a bunch of different recruiting agencies. That was sort of my experience there. I sort of disconnected fairly quickly because I was like, I am so bored. Like, I'm really bored. I'm so, so bored. But in terms of some pros and like company culture, so in terms of company culture, it was kind of interesting i feel like if i worked inside a boutique like a standalone boutique i would have gotten like the full immersive experience but working in a department store it was sort of like ebb and flow if that makes sense between getting the burberry culture and then the whole friend food culture and sort of a mix all together but i like 
I don't even think I was there long enough to even talk about what the Burberry culture is because I honestly don't even really know. But it's very high intensity, high quality, high standards. It's a luxury brand. You're selling $5,000 trench coats. Like this ain't fucking Target. Like you have to have like a certain level of professionalism. And I definitely think that a lot of people there have it, maybe not all, but that's for another time. But I really enjoyed my time there. I liked the people that I worked with. I think I settled in fairly quickly to like meeting and making those relationships, but um, I definitely didn't see myself there long term in that particular role. In terms of pay structure, since I was on the operations team, I was just on my base. So I just got an hourly rate. It was actually really good for an hourly for doing operations. It was survivable for sure. And I believe there was a bonus structure, but I wasn't even there long enough to like learn about that. In terms of pay, it was fine. Like no complaints really. It's essentially just like a little bit less than what I'm making now working as like a recruiter in an office. So if you're looking to get into operations, look into luxury because the pay is there. Like for example, if I was doing operations of the Gap compared to Burberry, it's like, an $8 per hour difference, which is a lot. Like, it's a lot. So, keep that in mind. Um, in terms of pros and cons, some cons, um, when you're working in operations for these brands, you are doing all your operations work, like uh, logistical work, shipping and receiving stock, managing stock, as well as your sales support. And this one sort of took me off guard. I knew I'd be sales support to some extent, but I wasn't sure about what the extent would be. And it turns out I was sales support a lot more often than not. So coming from a sales role and having sales support myself, it did almost feel like a step down, if that makes sense. Like I was working and having these people work for me, essentially, like they weren't working for me, but they were working to help my success and now I was working to help someone else's success. Um, so it was just, it was interesting. It was like interesting mentally. And I was like, I don't know if this is for me. It was definitely like a learning experience. Um, so in terms of cons, I would definitely say, I don't know if this is for all Burberry's, but at the one that I was working at, it was a lot of helping salespeople um, get things and like running stock for them. And they were often like fairly demanding and like fairly impatient. And I was like, girl, this is for you. Like you better check your attitude or else I'm not going to bring you anything. So that was that. Um, in terms of pay structure, if you're um, working in sales, then you can definitely make a lot of commission from that. I know some of these salespeople make bank, like they make a lot of money, especially right now in luxury retail in Vancouver. You got to speak Mandarin or Cantonese or Korean or Japanese just to like get in the Asian clientele, which have the dollars to spend. English ain't going to cut it anymore. Sorry. In terms of if I would go back, I would love to go back to Burberry or any sort of fashion brand. Um, I love the creativity behind it. Essentially, I left Nordstrom because I wanted to get that brand experience. I wanted to be like immersed in a brand and have the brand on my resume. And, you know, having Burberry on your resume, it looks good. Like it looks real good. And I really enjoyed it, um, but I would not go back to the store level. I would want to do either talent acquisition or human resources for Burberry. Um, I would really enjoy that. I don't even know. Those positions are few and far between. So we'll see if that happens, but I would definitely recommend working for Burberry if you want to get that uh, sort of luxury experience or brand immersive experience. I don't know. If you're more quiet and reserved and you're okay with doing sort of tedious tasks then definitely go into operations if you're looking for something a little bit faster paced that you can have more control over maybe do sales um but i definitely would recommend it as a brand to work for i quite enjoyed my time there although my time was short but i only really left because i didn't feel like it was necessarily a good step up for me and i thought that it may have been the time like to get into recruiting because i just finished my degree and i was like i've been in retail for my whole university career, I guess, and I wanted to get into something a little bit more office and professional and recruiting seemed to be my way into that. That's why I left, honestly, like if I started at Burberry a little bit sooner, then who knows? I definitely wanted to get into something a little bit more professional and out of the store and that's why I left. So that was my video. It was very rambly, very chit-chat. This seems to be the least 
<laughs> structured version of this video. I am currently wearing my second only Burberry item. This is the only Burberry item that I've purchased. Uh, side note, if you want a Burberry t-shirt, they're honestly some of the best t-shirts ever. They're fairly inexpensive. They're like 170 but like for a designer t-shirt, that's good. And I got this one on sale for like 70 bucks and it looks so good. It still feels so soft. It holds the shape beautifully and highly recommend. So that's my video. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.